hello guys welcome back to your on coding for all next lecture and as i told you even before that we have now started our presence on different social media platforms like on facebook linkedin uh, quora instagram and obviously you are viewing on youtube so i would encourage you all to join all the pages on all platforms but if you are interested in any one of the platforms that I've mentioned, then feel free to join that because I want this not to be one sided lecture sort of relation, but I want to have a community. I want we all to become a part of a family so that we may interact with each other. If we are facing any issue, we may ask and we may learn and grow. And if you want something particular to be made, to be mentioned in the lecture you can just mail me right in the comment section on youtube or you can just say it on any of the platform so that we become part of a family and other than this i would really like to thank you for showing your support and love as i have crossed even 200 views in very short period of time and the subscribers are increasing and i wasn't uh, you can say really expecting it my channel to grow with such a pace so that's really nice from your side and i would encourage you all to show your support and love like this even in the future uh, there might be someone who would say that the tasks are mundane or the tasks are not up to the mark but believe me that these simple tasks these simple achievements will encourage you and will motivate you in the future so that you can uh, even solve the task that will be more complicated that will be more challenging and this confidence will surely help you to accomplish those so just uh, try to keep up with me i know my, i hope that i have improved my teaching method even if i have no just forgive me and you can just suggest me how can i improve myself surely i'm open to all suggestions uh, enough of the talk now now let's dive into the lecture so that we can learn and grow and then earn thank you so i hope that now we are comfortable with the example that we were following for the nav bar what you can do you can just simply copy this and get to your code under the nav bar just paste what we did here on the code place so that we can continue with our thing now before jumping to any other <coughs> sorry now before jumping to any other concept i would like to know tell you that the, the biggest benefit of bootstrap is that you can change the layout in very easy manner you don't need to make something complex that we would have done over so the biggest benefit of bootstrap is that we are not required to do something complex in order to have a very nice layout so how can we add something as we have seen here how can we make it responsive by responsive i mean that you can look at the layout at the moment like it's three you can say column at the moment but as we change its size now there are only two columns if we reduce the size even more now there's only one at the moment and it's throughout so how is this possible this is now what we are going to learn and this is known as a grid system so simply go to the layout on getbootstrap.com get to the grids and this is how we are going to do and we will practice this on our code play so the thing is that first you are going to make a new div that div will have a class raw and then there will be another div 
with a class column and you can give it some attributes or you can say some yes attributes so there might be background color green So we are going to add some attributes so you can say styling, inline styling and so this could be border must be solid. There is some mistake. Okay, okay. This is my mistake. Okay, so this is first thing that we have added here. Why don't we copy paste so that we can see some effects? Okay. Talking now, okay. What does shape for me? so now we can see that it is taking full width of the screen what if I can change it something I want it to be 50% of the screen for this reason we can add one more div class will be Raw again, and obviously, uh, we will go down another div. This will have class column dash six style will include background color this you can see yellow border will be um, solid 1 px And this will have name as column dash six. Let us see now. So you see that this is already taking 50%, although it's only one. It isn't taking full width. The reason is you can say that each of our screen in larger, you can say view, it is having 
12 boxes over here. And in order to occupy half of the space, 12 divided by 2 is 6, so it is very simple. We can even add more, so there you may know this. And we run. So this is how it will change. And if I change it, for example, if I want three, three. So you see now what does this mean? This means that I have divided the screen into four parts and that is why it is one fourth. So we can do something more, but still this isn't responsive. Uh, how may I know this? Because if I go to tablet version, this is how it appears and on mobile phones, this is how it appears. So it is only taking 100% width and just decreasing its size, nothing else. It's not responsive, but we want this to be responsive as we have seen here. So how can we do something like that? In order to do that, we will have one more div so that we may understand what we are trying to do. Class is raw and then another div. Class is column medium six. And again, there will be style. And you can name this same as its class name. Let's see, do we have caught another one? Yes, very nice. And in order to see the effect, we must have more than one. So let us see now what is going to happen after we change the size. See, now this is responsive. Very nice. But what have we done here? The thing is that what I wrote here is, oh my God, where is my code? This is, so what I have written, you, we can increase the size. I've written that we are going to have column medium six. So this is that at max for medium size screen, we are going to have columns with 50% of the width of the total screen. So if the size goes below medium size after tab or you can, uh, yes, tablet size or below, it will take full fledge size of the screen it will take the width of the screen totally what if i add one more here you can see what is going to happen then so you see now it has gone below instead of coming right here this thing is that it will have me it will take 50% of the width if it's large or medium size and below medium size it will take 100% of the width now there's a challenge for you try to make another div and for this reason you will show me and in case of large just replace it with lg in case of medium md and in case of small what you can do just go here and you can obviously look the sizes 
here for example this is small medium large extra large extra extra large so now what i want i want the i want four divs and it, it must have 50% width or you can say they must four be in a single row when on large on medium they must be two and on small there must be one so how can you do this this is your challenge pause the video and give it a try so i hope that you have tried now we can do this all together just remove all this so that we can become clear now what is going to happen will be similar to what we did before class is going to be and i am seeing on larger screen the four divs must be in straight line so how can we do that 4 12 divided by 4 is 3 on large so large 3 and then it will have style obviously in line style I'm sorry background color you can give this yellow so that our writing become visible border will be same 1px solid and the name will be new div you can say is it appearing correctly okay this uh, okay okay Oh, yes very nice now we are going to have four divs as we said so why don't we copy paste very nice and I want this to change itself from four to two in a single row if it changes to medium size and for this reason I'm going to write column md 50% of the width and two row two divs in one row so for this reason you can say six we will do similar thing here Now, what if I change its size? Okay, this is in medium size. So, oh, this is so you can see that as we change its size to the medium, there are only two at once. And what if I change its size to even below? So, this is what we were going to do. We are having four divs in one row when it's large and when it's medium it is taking 50% of the screen and if it's below medium it will take 100%. Either you can write it or it's obviously very much you can see evident that it understood that's the benefit of bootstrap. So what does this mean? It is saying that when it is large only then take you can say 25% of the screen for all and if the size reduces and then only up to medium size you are going to take the 50% of the width and below medium size you will take only 100% so that is how it became responsive and congratulations you have done your task and if you haven't done, you can just pause the video and can review this so that we can move forward and, it we, and we won't face any difficulty in our future. 
Now we will be working on our site and we will implement what we just learned. But before that, we I want this site to have a different color. You can say pink color. So let us see. This is going to be our what is this? Obviously, this is title site because this is where each and everything is visible. This is the title and the download. Okay, so now we are going to work with this ID title. Now, what is going to be the selector for the ID? Write your answer in the comment section below and then we will surely discuss it here. In case to select the ID in styles, what we can do is put hashtag. What's the title? Small t. Background color, if I want it pink. Let us see. Very nice. What if I want the nav bar to change its color? We can try it here now. Very nice. But there's something wrong. Yeah, if I do something like this. Very nice. So this is what I was thinking of doing at first. But now what we learned about our grid system and we even applied here, I want that from you to implement so that this may take 50% of screen and the image may take 50% of the screen on larger view and on medium and small, it will take 100% of the width. So pause the video and give it a try. So I hope that you have tried. Now we are going to do this together. Let us see how. So here is our button. This is, is this the other button? Hey, coming down, down, down. This is. So this is our download buttons and this is the image. And for this reason, we are going to have another div. Class is going to be the row. Another div. This will be column. Large six. Column medium. Obviously, this won't be required. So, what if I now implement this here? Let us see. Column large six so oh no. Let us see now. Oh, very nice. What if I change its size? Wow, marvelous job. Congratulations, we did it. So this was all for this lecture. This was the second video or you can say second part which included our bootstrap. What we did in this lecture is that we learned how to make grids 
how to make it responsive and obviously responsiveness of grid makes our site responsive and then later on we implemented those skills that we learned about the grid and its responsiveness into our new project and obviously i wasn't feeling to make this too long otherwise it would become overwhelming for all of us so practice this and obviously stay connected so that we can make this a new beautiful professional site and many new projects are coming up so stay tuned just follow the lectures and we will become full stack web developers together so thank you for your support like share and subscribe only if you get quality from it and only if you think that it's worth so thank you very much see you next week thank you bye good luck